Yo, people, welcome back to The Fix, brought to you by Nightly Fix. The Fix comes to you courtesy of A-Bar Restaurant and Lounge. A-Bar more than just a bar, conveniently located in Springs Plaza. It's a boy Nara here with Kimmy. Hello. Ari. And the birthday girl, Javi. Hey, big up yourself, Javi. Mm. Old enough to have sex now. <laughs> big up DJ Burns, big up <laughs> other productions in the building. Right to know, we have some special guests in the building. Some young men who go by the name of Platinum Kids Clash Champions. US Rumble Clash Champions. There we go. No. <laughs> Platinum kids, me have to mm. stop you right this time. <laughs> I have two grown behind the big man sitting beside me calling themselves Platinum kids. Explain that. That name. Why, why that name? <laughs> probably, probably when we came up with the name, we were kids at that time. Ah. You know? Mm -hmm. Never really say they, 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 they. Because um, the funny thing with, with we and this entire music thing is that mm -hmm. it was never a profession. Um, or a choice of a profession. It was just Basically, um, I tell everybody so the music kind of chose we, you know, we didn't really choose it. It's something that we started mm -hmm. doing as just fun, it was mm -hmm. just um, just messing around, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, playing records and all of that, and it just it just took on a life of its own. So it just kind of skyrocketed. So I think if we really decided that we were going to pursue this as a career, mm -hmm. I think we'd have chose a different name at the time. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so for people who, are, who aren't familiar with the the US Rumble. Um, class championship. Tell them what it's about, what it entails, how well, how did win it. All right. Well, US Rumble. Um, it's such a big deal for us because that's actually our first clash ever. Um, we're more of a juggling sound. You know what I mean? We mm. play basically almost seven nights a week, just party vibes and juggling. And you know what I mean? Mostly, with, with, actually, if you look at our logo, it says Platinum Kids, the girl them sound. You know, so we mostly play for female audience and all of that. Malaco <laughs> already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um. The well, US Rumble now is, is as you say, as a sound clash where um, a representative from, from several different states. So there was um, somebody representing Florida, somebody representing um, New Jersey, somebody representing Atlanta, so on and so forth. We represented New York. And um, it's just basically, again, it's a sound clash where everybody mm -hmm. come in, represent them state. And then the winner goes on now to represent the United States in the world clash, mm -hmm. where you have a representative from every other country, um, Canada. Um, Europe, um, yeah. and such and such. So, and you, yeah. you guys representing the entire United States. Yeah, that's so a lot from, of pressure, man. We went from representing <laughs> New York to now representing the new United States. It's a good look. Yeah, it's a good look. Definitely. So, um, how exactly would you say that you actually won this competition, and how winning clashes? Tell me, tell me the mentality you have to have going into a going into a clash. And winning. Mm. All right. The, um. The whole. The whole mentality. Even the, the reason why we got into it is because um. From me, I look at it, I grew up. I love song clash. I like really listen, watch it, whatever the case is. Again, we never do it. We, it there wasn't something that we 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 were doing in our in our field. We was, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, basically juggling everything. But I guess um, being that we love it and seeing what everybody now that's in the field now doing, mm -hmm. we just feel like we could have do it better. You know, so um, and I think that's the reason why we even win the 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 the, the, the US Rumble because we just mm -hmm. went on with a different energy. I think we take the energy what we use in a party mm -hmm. and we brought it into the clash. And them not really used to that, or them mm -hmm. not really do that. Them just step on a certain level or a certain vibe or whatever mm -hmm. the case is, which to me is kind of, but not disrespect them, but they're kind of bored. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we went in with a different energy. We're going with the party energy you now, mm -hmm. um, along with the double play them and everything. And it just it was the outcome was. You know what I mean? We're here doing the interview, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but as you mentioned, double play, right? So I get to understand. So we're the underdog of the competition. 100%. Nobody expected you guys to no, win. No, because again, it was our first clash. And, and you guys had the least the double play. The least amount. How much double plate you know, did I have? <laughs> probably at that time, probably. Not even going to lie, probably at that time, we probably a probably 100, oh, decent. 100, 100 or something. Decent 100 or something. song we could have played, probably mm -hmm. 100. That's what I was about to say. Like, me no, no, when you have a good like no, it might like seem no. like no. That's not until you a have hundred songs. <laughs> Think about a hundred song. Um, I if you got one six party, other song in mm -hmm. that competition. If you got one party, mm -hmm. you got here for the night at least one, um, probably one um, a thousand songs for the whole night, right? Yeah, and we have a hundred, one hundred songs to play for the entire night. So, wait, all so in a clash, every song is a double play. Yeah. So them throw a double plate right. and then you respond with a double it's, plate. Um, well, it, it, in that, it was, it was 10, ten, minute ten minutes. Sense. Okay. So it's seven songs playing 10 minutes. So that's 70 minutes. Wow. <laughs> you know, so you have to hope. Oh, we're going in a prayer so they don't play with full sound because they could have played with them then. Uh, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I get rid of them and whatever the case is. So 
Yeah, you so, know what I mean? It was like a David and Goliath kind of thing. Uh, we're, we're going up against sound, them where, where, where that's what they do. Like mm-hmm. a weed juggle, mm-hmm. them clash. So mm-hmm. for them, I mean, they, you have to have also we have 2,000. If we have 100, them have 2,000 mm-hmm. more double it. So, 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 so me could have argue, one could have argue, you know, and say, Uno never win by talent or on the skills. So then, Uno never win by luck. We could have said that. No, we, it, 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 it's the, definitely the other way around. <laughs> it's the other, the other way, way around. around. It was totally by talent and uh-huh. because we're able to deliver. Uh-huh what they weren't able to deliver. We was able to do with our hundred dubs what them couldn't do with the two thousand. Right. That's why I made that ask him. I just want to make sure so that yeah. is not the case. Because for Cordia with where you say you go there with that you have more than an underdog, you have scoop on super dogs. But the fleep on the underdog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good look. It's a good look. Um, earlier on, not too straight from the point, but earlier on, we did have a video release and um, a, re- a video released actually. I would have show I would have talked about it and thing and um, um, the, the dance all thing and we were having mm-hmm. sexual intercourse in the pool and we had a two part of the coat board that and I thought both say um dance hall. Remember porn hub? Is it mm, a porn hall porn or hall. a dance hall? What you think about that? Would you you think Uno as the renowned selectors in the R now mm-hmm. would have in the Uno believe in them thing there, the whole sex in a dance hall and thing. The weird the, the, the weird reggae music I go the weird dance hall I go with the whole sex thing. Well, um I'm gonna put it like this. In everything there's changes, you mm-hmm. know, because um, what we do, our we used to do, our when, when, when you used to do in a, in a party before you sit us and I complain about it, mm-hmm. your parents would have said, no, what y'all do, no, you can't, you know what I mean? Mm, yes. And so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. So every every generation, it gets a little bit more extreme. You mm-hmm. understand? So us now looking at the, the, the younger ones, them doing that, of course, we're going to have a problem with it because, you know what I mean? We just feel like they might take it too far now. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you have to put yourself in a fit them shoes now and... I saw them express themselves now. You know what I mean? Just I again. don't want to put myself in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to put myself in there. We're two different sides. <laughs> <laughs> not even You know what I mean? It's, 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 you know, I mean, I encourage it. I mean, I endorse it or whatever mm. it is. But I do try to understand because um, remember when we just started playing sound and, 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 and at that time it was like the Mr. Walking and the dancing and everything mm-hmm. and all of that. You know what I mean? And we can't remember all the people saying, oh, this is a party. I just be around up and down or whatever mm-hmm. the case. They mm-hmm. had something to complain about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So of course now as time goes on, and we mature now and we see people are the craziness now because I mean a craziness that of course mm-hmm. but again we just try to understand being in in, 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 in in the entertainment field or whatever the case is you have to try to understand and see the changes and where the changes come about and then you have to just put yourself in a, in a position and say okay remember when what me did think when me consider fun my parents never consider fun mm. you know what I mean they used to lick out against it or whatever the case is so just the same thing it's just a, re, it's just a cycle Mm. Mm. And unfortunately, it's going to get more and more extreme. So me, I wonder, when I see something like that, no, I wonder what got me in the next 20 years. That me wonder. Did you see the video? I heard about it. I didn't see it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. But I mean, I've seen other videos like that mm. where mm. where people have sex in a dance and, and mm. you know what I mean? People are getting fouled and all kind of something. I'm like, yo, I'm not really sick. I understand it. But again... So you you wouldn't be playing the role of that selector. You I, I cheer them on, I encourage them for participate. Men not go, men not go go so far for encourage it. Men not mm. go so far for encourage it. Cause again, I mean, me me have kids. Me have a daughter. We are twelve year old. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? In the next couple of years, she gonna start go party. And mm-hmm. I know, I know that's what me want. <laughs> right, right. That's not what me want. So me wouldn't, me wouldn't encourage Lord it. Lord forbid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me about the dynamic mm-hmm. though for mm-hmm. the relationship with, with the clashing. Who do most of the playing? Who do most of the talking? talking. Well, I mean, oh, I think you can't. Well, who do most of the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean? That's the, that, and the film birthday to me here, so someone yeah, birthday. Yeah, it's Jamie's birthday as well. Yeah, Happy birthday. birthday. Well. Happy birthday. birthday as well. Thank you very much. I'm being a walk. Boa girl, Mr. Boa girl. Yes. Hey, Javi, tell me today, it's a B star, but August 22nd. Yeah. Uh, no, August no, no, August, August 22nd. It's no, a August, day. August 22nd. <laughs> I'm almost inclined <laughs> to believe her. You understand? Yeah, man. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? I'm the day young of the two brothers. Um, I him play the music, him mix and everything. And They're not actually married. brothers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. same oh. mother, same yeah. father. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, by by the way, tell the people the morning name individually. Oh, me and Paul, Paul Platinum, Marcus. Mm-hmm. Paul and Marcus, Marcus Platinum. Platinum. Two national year, right? That's all. Your mama and papa was very ambitious. I like it. <laughs> so heading into the world clash, you know what's what are you expecting? I have to come of that because a big deal. People like Tony Mata and Ricky Chu, Papa showed them, made them name through that, that, that competition. I want to look forward to going into it. I mean, we're looking forward to being back here, taking the next interview and telling hope the people how we want it. You know what I mean, <laughs> that's, 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 that's what, I mean, right now that's what we're going for because, again, we just feel like, say, 
the whole clash thing, it 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 changed. Mm-hmm. And me just feel like say we can try to bring back a little bit of entertainment to it. It's it's gotten so boring and 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 by it getting so boring you just lose a lot of fans that way, you know what I mean? But but suppose all right, see you came there now with a new style like, introduced or oh, not gonna say new but a difference, yeah. right? So you're not afraid the next one like take a page out of your book and run with it for the for the world clash and say, Okay, so that them are gonna come with again. You're not afraid them um foresee where you're gonna come with it, consider it predictable and like run with it. No, actually, I'm hoping that that's what happened because that's what was my whole reason for even entering the clash field is mm-hmm. that um we want to make a change. So um making a change is not just you. Mm-hmm. Making a change is, is, is impacting others and making others follow the change where you are set. So, mm-hmm. of course, if somebody come and bring the same game away or bring me, that really, really and truly mm-hmm. me, I love it. Mm-hmm. Mission accomplished. Yeah, the mission yeah. accomplished. Yeah, because yeah, you know like, they might look upon what you yeah. done and say, hey, it works yeah, for them, work. you know. And so, I'm going to try the formula. There for, for, but if I saw the case, then how you are going to compete against that? Cause that was your strategy. Because I was you know. still better than them, you know. You know what I mean? But a hundred, but a hundred, don't forget. A hundred, don't you know what I mean? <laughs> Two hundred, yeah, no. Just... <laughs> Cause you see, like, 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 we tell enough people say, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, your mother, your mother can't give you and your sister the same recipe, and they want to cook and use the same exact recipe that still come out different. True. You know what I mean? Because it's not about the, the, the recipe; it's about the chef. Mm-hmm. So regardless of what, yeah, we go and we give them the blueprint and say, yeah, the blueprint they work, but at the same time, I still know we. True. So we just feel like say. What we are doing and, 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 and what we plan for the work life. I feel like so we're going to come up victorious. One, one last question. You mentioned that over the selected them, DJ, them are doing boring. What about what them do is boring? Too? Um, They kind of got, um, not much. They just, they just, they, it's basically, all right. As I said, I somebody I listened to the Clash from a long time, from Elke Road. Mm-hmm. And it's basically, what they do is just, they pattern everything that was done in the 90s, mm-hmm. and they didn't change it one bit. They don't put them flavor to it, they don't put ah. no style to it, they don't put nothing to it. They just, they see it exactly, the man them mm-hmm. cut song from, from Ricky Chupa, them and all them, man. They, mm-hmm. them just go, so, and just look where Ricky Chupa, them and them and they do, and them just copy it, right down the line. Boom, 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 same, mm-hmm. same, same thing, same thing. So, you've been hearing the same thing for 30 years. Mm-hmm. As in, like the way them arrange the song, the way them cut the song, the them, way them pan, 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 the rhythm, the them, rhythm them use, then, and then it's and and then majority of them, mm-hmm. the problem is they're doing that, but them not have the charisma or the flavor where Mataran or Chupa yeah. or Squinja so do for get away oh, with them. Okay. Exactly, yeah. them not have that. Them not mm-hmm. have the delivery. They them not have the thing. They them just mm-hmm. go up there and just. I try them best for mimic it, but they don't have that 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 personality to me. Yeah. You know me because um I think that. that, that well, a lot of people don't realize is in a clash, it's not about what you play mm-hmm. as much as as the, the the person that's introducing the song. You have to be you have to be able to, to entertain the people yes. while you're doing it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can it's it's what you say, it's how you deliver, it's your body language, it's a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And a lot of them lack that charisma if they get the response of them. One consecutively, so and we do it a little one time, you get a little one forward, or yeah. they'll come up with something creative one yeah. time in other dance, and then you know, hear about nothing again for the next three hours, you know what I mean? So, yeah. our plan is just and and and, and what we did with, with US Rumble is just every round we just come and deliver the same energy, same energy, same vibe, same vibe, same vibe, same vibe, keep the people in for now up and the mm. people up on the eye mm-hmm. because you know what I mean people are, and, and clash are very expensive I mean it's $50 US to get into a clash mm-hmm. so people are spending them kind of money that people want to get people coming to be entertained mm. <laughs> you know what I mean mm-hmm. people coming to be entertained no, I mean, money's right. yeah, yeah man it's not a just it's board. not a matter of just, just hearing the place because everybody yeah. have the place yeah. mm-hmm. some might have more or some but yeah, some, <laughs> some have more some have less <laughs> yeah. but for example when you think about all a bounty killer the play, how mm-hmm. much money in the world can play a bounty killer the play? Everybody but can. And everybody are going to deliver the same just like yeah. you must say. True. You understand? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, when is the World Clash? October 14th in Canada. In Canada. Mm-hmm. Well, best of uh, luck. Don't sound like you don't need it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell people though where they can follow on social media. And keep um, up with Social media, um, Paul is on Paul Platinum. Me is um, just on the Platinum Kids. So. But I mean, you Google Platinum Kids, you find everything. Just mm. Google Platinum Kids, one shot. You find everything. The website, the Facebook, the Instagram. Mm. You know what I mean? Google one stop mm. shop and just get everything. We'll, we are going to see any uh, some um, Platinum Kids no, this, no, display anything here in Jamaica before you guys um, But we actually, we actually just played in St. Mary. Yes. Oh, yeah? This weekend we did in St. Mary. Shall it down, man? Shot fire and be a thing. What? 
So anything else to look forward to before you guys leave? No, not before we leave, but we um we're here every what 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 I do in a birthday party every e- April Easter mm-hmm. day for um I do in a birthday party plus um a couple other things coming up, but not not this thing. We're leaving tomorrow, so oh, okay. that's it for us. Well, we are keep track of this thing, and we want to see if you really are gonna take it. You know what I mean? So we can have your back for come talk about your winnings. So no Platinum Kids, thanks for passing through. Yes, right, thank you for having us. All right, people, it's Platinum Kids. It's the fix. We've reached the end of the interview. Or survive, whichever. Or survive. Yeah. All right, so don't forget to subscribe using the logo button over there. And please remember, you can watch all the other interviews over there. Follow us on all social media channels at Nightly Fix. And please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to drop a comment telling us to go suck our moms as well. Or call your batty boy. Whichever, floaty boy, whichever. Whichever. Yeah. Bye.